Hello there. This is called our hyd oxygen hydrogen separation in a dry cell electrolyzer. Okay, this is the front view of it. And uh, there's really no big secret to it at all, even though some people are saying there's a big secret to it. Uh, this blue down here, this uh, light blue, this is your electrolyte. And uh, up here, uh, okay, what we've got is we have your uh, individual little cells separated with uh, uh, a polyester uh, felt, and you have a, a you have say a plate of uh, stainless steel, then a plate of felt, and then a plate of uh, monel. You just alternate stainless steel and monel. And uh, not a whole lot to it. And then once uh, here's your liquid level up here underneath the dark blue and, and uh, pink. And uh, you can see these black things hanging down below. Um, that's uh, what that is. Is those are that's a a barrier uh, between. Uh, that's a, a a solid barrier. Just a, a basically a plastic sheet that goes between, or that's, part of me, that's uh, fastened, actually it, it's right in the gaskets, it lays right on the gaskets, so it's a part of of the cell itself. And it, it basically hangs down into the water, or the electrolyte, and uh, because you don't want any gas uh, up here where it's blue and pink, and that's all vapor. Then you can blow off the oxygen and uh, and store the hydrogen. Now, uh, so those are very important. Those little plastic dividers there, and they keep your gases separated in the, when they're in the gassy state. Now, underneath the water, it's a different story. Or the electrolyte, it's a different story. Um, your uh, your bubbles uh, won't go through this felt, and uh, cross-contaminate each other um, and uh, that's a good thing that's how you want to keep it so that's basically the whole uh, the whole big secret supposedly on uh, on how to separate uh, hydrogen and oxygen there are other ways uh, to do it um, I might uh, I might uh, uh, Draw up uh, some other plans there and uh, show you some other ways of of uh, separating them. Um, and uh, the, but this is a this is a good way. On here to uh, the top view of this uh, uh, of this uh, uh, dry cell, and you can see here. You're basically looking down through the alternating holes in the plates. So each cell has a different uh, gas. Now in between the cell is your stainless steel plate. And, and it's giving off on both sides of it one particular kind of gas. Then you cross over the felt membrane to the next cell. And it's and on both sides of that plate is giving off the other gas, hydrogen and oxygen, of course. If you were looking down from the top, uh, that's what you would see, those holes there. Okay, and then and then your gasket is going to fit around here, your manifold gasket, because these are all going to be connected with a manifold, and there'll be a gasket in between them and on both sides. And I'll show you up here. There's our... Uh, our uh, top of our manifold. There's my email address, by the way. If uh, you want me to send, uh, just email me, and I'll uh, PD uh, send you a PDF of this uh, this drawing here. Um, I'm providing it uh, free uh, as public domain, um, and uh, it. I haven't built one of these uh, yet. And uh, if you uh, uh, if you think you can uh, build one even better, all the more power to you. Anyways, at least this will give you an idea of uh, how to how to separate these things. Now here's uh, 
here's the the top of your uh, manifold cover that's not the cover this is the manifold here that's where all your little box your little uh, this box here is an open cut in in there and and that will uh, contain all those little um, boxes those little colored boxes from that picture below uh, and it collects them all and then uh, and then uh, through the top lid the, your gas from that slot comes up through um, this barb connector here and your other gas comes uh, up this barb connector here and that's how they're separated sketch here of uh, of uh, the side view shows you the um, the electrolyte the bubbles the gas get over here your holes for uh, your things there's your two gases there's going up through that manifold and your two gases coming out separate there's your plastic uh, about the size of your plastic film gas barrier which is just below the water level and it always has to be below the electrolyte level no matter what and uh, we've got some uh, a little bit of an exploded diagram here to show you a little more uh, the red is the felt the green here is the plastic and you have to uh, seal this plastic right here to the felt okay it has to be you that way there your your bubbles don't go underneath in between the two and then uh, end up uh, mixing so there'd be a little bead of caulking there of uh, silicone along that edge there so it doesn't uh, get through and then this blue plate here is your uh, I guess it's your Monel, which is a type of uh, stainless steel. And this is uh, your stainless steel, the yellow one in the middle here. And uh, the big bubbles are your oxygen bubbles. Little ones are your hydrogen bubbles. Um, this is just an example, it's just a guideline basically. Uh, hydrogen, when it's not mixed with oxygen, is a much safer gas to deal with. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye for now.